Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. My name's Dan, and today I'd like to talk to you about bigger knives. Uh, more of the machete style knives, and parangs, and things like that. Um, I have a old regular true machete. It's from Brazil. Uh, I'm not sure of the brand of it, but it's a real thin, flexible blade. This is fantastic for cutting weeds and things like that, but it's almost totally useless if you start cutting little trees and trying to split wood with it, things like that. So what I use here in the Philippines is I have a what I call a parang, and I use the style that I saw Rick Mears carry, so I designed this off of, off of his shape of his blade. Mine's much thicker than his. Um, this is made out of a piece of a uh, a spring from a van or a car and it's a full tang handle it's a very heavy knife weighs a little over two pounds uh, just just over a kilo and has pieces of guava wood uh, bolted to the side of it each side of it this thing here is five times better than any hatchet I've ever owned or any small axe for chopping down small trees anything up to oh, four inches across, five inches across. It is absolutely fantastic and it's very nice for splitting and stuff. Uh, this is another knife right here. It's also a parang. It's almost identical to the, to the last one except for I, I ground it down much thinner. It's about a uh, little bigger than an eighth inch. This one weighs about 1.7 pounds. Also wonderful for chopping. Fantastic for splitting wood, um, doing small I use it for since I use it for making spindles and, and hearth boards and things like that. It's fantastic. I have a piece of uh, three inch PVC pipe, blue pipe, that I squash down and put a little tab on it for the knife. And then I made a, a Solomon bar handle for it. It really turned out nice. And then the, the big problem we have here is it's so humid. I'm, I'm only about a, a mile from the ocean, plus the humidity is 100% here almost every day. So what I do to the knives is I sand them down and then I put a, a light coat of turtle wax on them. And that, that takes care of most of the rust problem. You can see there's a little bit of rust on them. It depends how much you use them too. The more you use them, the less rust will be on them, of course. This knife right here, this is also made out of a, a spring from a bigger truck. You can see it's much wider. This is a solid two pound knife also. It's, you can see it's, wider but shorter. I use this for everything. It's my total utility knife. I use it for making fireboards, spindles. I work in the garden with it. Use it for splitting wood, cutting trees, whatever I, whatever I need a knife for. This is also a piece of, this is a piece of four inch PVC, like a gutter pipe, real thin, real thin stuff, squashed down for a sheath. And also another Solomon bar handle on it. And my last big knife is also a a short wide knife. This one's a full tang knife here uh, with guava handles on it and this this is my was my favorite knife before it's 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 only about a little over maybe a 1.1.3 pounds and it's nice and flat to use in the garden for when you're planting for chopping splitting things like that um, it works it, it works as good or better than any, any hatchet I've ever owned so as far as I'm concerned, a hatchet's a nice thing, but to me, uh, I think a hatchet and a small axe are actually quite dangerous. They bounce off what you're, what you're chopping on real easy, where these things just sink in real nice when you're cutting with them. I would much rather have a big knife than a hatchet. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.